Hey, so for us nerds out there, the big news from yesterday is that OpenAI announced function calling. So basically, this function calling is for people who want to use the OpenAI API and build your own chat interface. So let's say a user comes along and sends a user prompt into your own chat interface. And he's saying, I'm looking for a hotel in Hong Kong close to Causeway Bay or Admiralty that is four stars or above. And then what your code will do is to make an API call to OpenAI, combining the user prompt and also a description of some functions that you have to enable OpenAI to get more information. So for example, uh, a description of a function would include its name, a description of when it should be used, and the parameters it needs to be able to run the function. And then there, there could be more than one function. And so you're sending this stuff to OpenAI. And what OpenAI does is to, based on the text of the user prompt, tell you what function should be used. And so in this case, they're kind of matching the, the, the semantic meaning of the user prompt with the description of your functions to determine whether any of them should be used, and if so, which one. So it will return the name of the function and also extract the parameters that uh, you need for your function from the user prompt. So you can think of this as um, what they call named entity recognition. So I'll, I'll show you an example in a second. So let's say this, this guy's looking for a hotel and let's say I'm Expedia. So I have a lot of information about hotels. So I'm going to pass it a function called get top 10 hotels. And the description is this function should be used when the user wants to get 10 hotels that best matches what they're asking for based on their city, neighborhood, and star rating. And then the parameters that this function needs would be, let's say, city, uh, the neighborhood, the stars, and sometimes users like to define minimum stars, uh, maybe not so often maximum stars, but I just put it here. And then we can also define which of these parameters are required. So in this case, we, we just said city and neighborhood are required and the stars are, are not required. So what it's going to do is to take this, this user prompt and look at this function and say, and come back to us and tell us with a response like this, hey, you should make a function call. You should use the function called get top 10 hotels and look, I've extracted the arguments for you based on the user prompt. So it's extracted like, oh, the city, the user's talking about Hong Kong, the neighborhood, the user's talking about Causeway Bay, comma, Admiralty. And then it, see, it, it's quite intelligent here because the user asked four stars or above, and it could have put four into the stars parameter. But instead, it knew that it should go into min, min stars. So it returned min stars as four. So that then gets passed back to our code. And then our code basically will take the name of the function to determine which of our own APIs to call. And then we use the parameters um, to feed into our API. So here we're like, oh, chat GPT is telling us that we should use our get top 10 hotels API. So we, we, we call that API, pass it the parameters like min, four stars, Causeway Bay or Admiralty. And then our API will presumably return a list of hotels. And technically you could just output that straight to the user, but 
that that kind of output tends to be a little bit machine like. So what people tend to do is to package up those results from your API, combine it again with the with the original user prompt, send that stuff back to OpenAI as a second call. And then OpenAI will craft a response to the user based on all of this information that it's gotten from your API and the original user prompt into a nicely worded response back to the user. So that's basically how it works.